Seattle Storm at Chicago Sky, free WNBA pick for Tuesday, August 9th. I'm Ramon Scott of Tony'sPicks.com. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, free picks every day here on Tony's Picks. Then click on the link below or head on over to our website, Tony'sPicks.com. There you'll find our premium picks each and every day from a dozen handicappers. Use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20% off all premium pick packages. Check out our handicapper leaderboard, see who's hot. I'm coming off a of five and one day on Monday and I'm up over 4,000 units over the last 30 days here on Tony's Picks. Also, check out our premium picks features, including our best bets and our $15 pick each and every day from our handicappers. Use the promo code TONYT at checkout to save 20% of all premium pick packages. All right, let's get to this one now between the storm and the sky. The storm come in a five point underdog, total 163 and a half. Seattle lost to Las Vegas 89-81 on Sunday. They've now lost five of their last eight games. They currently sit just a half a game uh, ahead of Washington currently is Washington trying to battle back after that split of the home and home, but uh, it's going to be close right now. Seattle, a little bit of a downspin of late. Chicago, meanwhile, they are in first by one game over the Las Vegas Aces. They've won 10 of their last 12 games. They defeated Connecticut 94-91 at home on Sunday. Chicago plays Las Vegas again before the season ends, they also play at Phoenix as we just have a couple of games left in the season. Seattle won 74-71 over Chicago back in May, but the Sky came back to win on July 20th, 78-74. A couple of games that went considerably under the total when these two teams first met. Now, I don't know about this time because these two teams have definitely been trending to the over. Seattle has gone over in four of their last five games, and Chicago has gone over in five of their last six, including five of their last six at home. So Stewart's coming off a great game for Seattle in that loss to Las Vegas. She scored 35 points, but they did lose. Uh, should be a good matchup for her, but she has struggled in the last three games against Colorado, uh, dating back to last season, even the last, uh, her two games this season also not very strong. So Vandersloot, Meesman, I think they're going to have good games against Seattle here. Vandersloot's been awesome over the past month. So has Candace Parker. Uh, look, I just think this one has a chance to go over this total the way these two teams have played. I know that they, when they've played each other, it's been a defensive game. There's still a lot to play for with these teams, but I think 163 is a reasonable number in this third and final matchup of the regular season between Seattle and Chicago. And I'm going to go over 163 and a half on Tuesday.